নমস্কার বন্ধুরা আমরা এই যাচ্ছি স্বামী সাতমানন্দ মহারাজের কথামৃত শুনতে না আজকে মানে ভাগবত পাঠ করবে তো যেতে হবে এখানে অনেকটা দূর এক ঘন্টার দূরে এই যে এসছি লাইব্রেরিতে না লাইব্রেরিতে করবে এটা নেপার বিল beginning with the words only the how we are doing it then before that in the 14th it says sharina we have already chanted that deva bija so then serenity should be there calm and composed mauna atma vinigraha and what is mauna when you are talking to talk too much it of rubbish some wrong thing bad thing will come up so one must be very careful about what i am actually talking it's better to be calm controlling so that is called mauna atma vinigraha when he is controlling his own mind he she is controlling her own mind so mana prasad serenity of the mind and so much them the kindliness must be there always on her on his or her person on her face why not agitated at all some people are criticizing some people are praising he is all the time saying so that should be there bhagwan sri ramakrishna he, he was not well known by that time but in his behavior some speciality was there so which people could not understand and some were telling that he is mad that's why he is behaving in that way but some were telling no this is something special whatever he says that is truth and the way he says that touches our heart there must be something special then there was a meeting a discussion to decide is he an avatar then a lady came and she was in all scripture she was master even in at the time of sri ramakrishna our women were so respected and they were really they knew the scripture so bhairavi brahmani and she told i like to prove before you that he is none other than chaitanya himself he is also the avatar and she went on quoting from the scripture look in the bhagavata he says it says this type of behavior it is only possible in avatar ordinary people cannot do that cannot act. so he was quoting the all the other the people the scholars they were immediately referring you know that in the court of law they will be referring to the law book <coughs> and references etc like that they were also referring discussing Sri Ramakrishna himself was also sitting there. Look at it. If they say no, he is a mad person, what will happen to him? He is a great stigma in the social life. If they declare no, 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 he is a mad, then what will happen to him? So this is a great thing that is going on before him. He is sitting over there and sometimes nudging the person who is sitting by his side. What they are discussing? Have they come to a conclusion or not? and sometimes he was fond of it chewing something so he will be taking out and then he is chewing not at all intention at all intention why you know he knew what he is whether they declare or not it doesn't matter at all so when you are completely self confident that i am this whether people they say you are not what does it matter Why should I have to react? But that is called soumyatya. Whether people will appreciate me or not, majority people are concerned about that. So they will be dressed up in that way, they will be talking in that way, all externally. But when they come back internally, close the door, oh my God, it is a different person. <laughs> no, it should not. You must be truthful to yourself. that is the word manaprasada 
in the mind itself you know that I am this and accordingly you should be here. Manat prasada samyaktam maunam atma vinikraha. What is the atma vinikraha? Atma means the mind everywhere. The mind wants to go here, mind wants to go there. So you have to pray again and again. That is called vinikra. When you try to meditate, that is the time all thoughts will come. And the work that you forgot, that is the time. It will all come up and remind you. Oh, you are supposed to call that man. You are supposed to finish this. You are supposed to do this. All in the time of meditation. Other time, the moment you get up from meditation, they are not there. <laughs> so this is very peculiar. It's a common experience. Yeah. Everybody will think in that way. So vinikraha means another part of your mind is alive. One part of, part of your mind is going away and the another part is going and holding him and coming, bringing him back. Right? No, bring back. Come here. Just like the very naughty children, they'll be jumping and then they'll run. Mother will also go, hold them, bring them, sit here, complete it. Beginning they will. So just like that, vinikraha, nikraha. Nikraha means controlling. Vinikraha, Vishesha Rupena Nikraha. You must control it perfectly. No, 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 sometimes you have to. If you are not completing the japa today, no food. You are telling to yourself. The mind which is not ready or don't like to do it, the lower mind, and the upper mind will say, okay, if you don't complete the japa, 1,000 times because I promised I should do. There is no food today. Okay, don't do japa. You won't get food. Tell it to your mind. Your mind will become. That is very peculiar. Very peculiar. A very special type of experiment with your own mind. If you are asking the mind that if you are completing the japa, then I will go and visit those places. You see, your mind will become. And see if your mind is, another mind is listening to the mind at higher level. So, Asura and Deva. So, Deva and Asura constantly pulling up and down. And that, we are churning our mind. So, that Samutra Mantana, every day we are doing. Samutra Mantana, once only, all of you know that some churning the ocean and the devatas, the good people, asuras, the bad people, they were churning and churning holding a snake. That means the yoga. Snake is the symbol of yoga. And at the top, at the bottom, there was the hard a substance that was God Himself in the form of a tortoise. And it was there. And on that tortoise, we are keeping our faith straight. No, no, we have to do it. And I am going to churn my mind every day, every moment, or evening, morning. Those who are practicing meditation, they are actually doing Samudra Mantan. That is the Samudra Mantan, churning the ocean. And what you will get? In the beginning, people will appreciate. Just practice for six months. Your neighbors, in the beginning, they'll say, hey, what you are doing? Closing your eyes and sitting over here. If they come to know, all they will go on giving advices. Right from India also, some of your 90 years old, Mataji will give the advice. But this is not the way. Only you should eat these. And the green leaves on the diet, and that's you. Like that, so many advices and people say, don't waste your time. When you cross 70, then only you go to temple. Why you are not? So all these advices will come. But if you continue, after six months you will find all your neighbors, all your relatives, their views are changing. Some will criticize you, some will avoid you, and some will follow you. If you can continue for 
few years full world is born and that proves it is truth that is the proof whether you are a highly educated person or not but people will follow you listen to you they will be inspired by your words automatically you need not to do any advertisement automatically that proves the strength of god but how we can do that manak prasad mind should be purified somyatam all is calm and composed mauna controlling of the tongue i am not going to use this type of words atma vinigraha constantly bringing back the mind from the different objects bhava samsuddhi the deity is called honesty of the mati bhava samsuddhi to when i am doing something what is the motive majority of the people they do for popularity so they always go for that and they be going for the rich people high and mighty people so that they also bask in the reflected glory that is also another thing is there mm. so that is why bhagwan sri ram krishna when he used to see the rich people are coming he will be hiding somewhere but in ordinary people can he will come and sit in between and he will be talking hey what you are doing with all that that is bhava samsa the purpose is very clear i am going to realize god and when i am going to realize god this world i am going to leave if i want this world then why i should practice spirituality this is very clear if i am practicing spirituality this is mainly that i want to go to god realize god and what actually holding me this world and what is this world name and form i want to give up that that is holding me back i don't want it so that is bhava samsuddhi the purpose it should be very clear honesty of the motive and this is called mental austerity the physical mental and world these are the way three way we work and if we are careful you will surely get high spiritual knowledge and that will give you excellent happiness which you will never ever get from any object of this world now it says again in the next verse in the 17 श्रद्धया परया तप्तम तपस्तिविधम नफलाकांक्षि युक्त सात्क And this is really important again. Ashuras, you know, when you go and read in the Indian scriptures, lot of stories of different Ashuras, and we are very famous is Ravana. Ravana was so intelligent as if he was having intellect of ten people. That's why Dasamunda. Actually, he was not having Dasamunda. Now we like to see a Dasamunda. nothing like that it is a way of expression oh he he is equal to 100 that is mean that we have to play 100 not like that this is a, he was so intelligent ravana how he got that power tremendous power no one can defeat me that power he got by practicing austerity very interesting he also meditated he also controlled his mind he also prayed to god but when the blessing came he wanted give me the power so that i can control the world and he was so clever he told no god can kill me no yaksha no dhanava 
no one should able to kill me. But he forgot to tell about the human. <laughs> and say, human is nothing compared with my power. The gods cannot. Then the yaksha and dhanavas, no one can. And he was killed by a human. So God came in the form of a human. So this is that some loophole the God will give. But the interesting thing that we should notice, this person, he practiced tremendous austerity. But what he wanted, power. Again, when the Bhagavad, uh, in the, our sister Chandi, there also we find the two persons, one is a king, another is a businessman. And they were actually, they were not defeated, but his own people, wives, children, relatives, they made in such a way that they had to leave their hearth and home and to take shelter in the jungle. And they met together. And then they exchanged their, the old, you know, my children, my wife, for whom I earn. And they have thrown me out from my own property. And at that, that time, and now I don't know still why I'm thinking for them. King also told, I was not defeated by my enemies. My queen and uh, my minister, they made in such a way so that I was defeated and I'm alone over here. So they made the Rishi. And the Rishi told, only thing I can tell you, if you worship Goddess Durga, she is the source of power, then you can ask whatever you want. Both of them, they prayed, worshipped. Goddess Durga appeared before them. And both of them, they prayed. You know what? King told, give me back my land. I like to be king again. And seeing soul mother, you are blessing me. I don't like to be the king of the small country. I like to rule the whole world. Give me that power. Mother told, okay, go. And this businessman, he told, enough is enough. <laughs> no, the money cannot give me. Mother, I like to be with you all the time. Because the moment you have appeared before me, it's so calm, so peaceful, so joyful. I want joy, happiness only. What I am going to get with the money? The moment I have the money, this king will come and force all money from me. I don't like to be rich man. See, two people, they worshipped and when the blessings came, they, according to their mental condition, they prayed for them. So one became Dhanava, another became the Devata. The Devata and Dhanava means what? Mental attitude. So Rakshasas, they were also good people, educated people. They also could control their mind. Only thing they wanted to control over others. And the Devatas told not, not like that, that much. So we must be very, very careful. Here the Lord is giving us the teaching. The first is Shraddhaya. Paraya. Paraya means great. Great Paraya. Shraddhaya. Shraddha with respect. Taptam tapasta trividam narayi. Again, the three different types of tapasya. The first tapasya is Afala Kamshibi Yuktai. I don't want anything, Mother. I want only you. I don't want any other thing than you. When I say, I want you, my God, that is not a phala. Realization of God is not a something that you are achieving after something. No. It's a, there's no follow. And I am working only for my love. I just like you. That's why I tell our volunteers, when you are coming and serving in the asthma, don't expect that you will be a secretary, you will be a member, you will be this, you will be that. Don't expect that. Just give whatever you have and give with great respect to God. Not the Swami in charge there, 
or the persons over there. No. Have good relation with them, but your main object is to God. Go and tell Thakur, today I have come, I'll be doing this work here today. Be happy with me. If I do any mistake, please don't be angry. Then you go and do cooking, cleaning, this thing, that thing. And afterwards again go back and say, I have done, I don't have much time because I have some other responsibility. I am going, be with me. Thakur will be with you. It's not that I am telling, how can I know? These are the laws. These are the laws. If you, But if you go with the prayer, today I have brought food for you and the monks so that my son will get the job or daughter will be married or my the, the, the pain that I am having in the knee should go away. Pain? I don't know. Even all that will also happen. But right knee pain will go left leg again. <laughs> because you didn't pray for the left leg. <laughs> so this is always happening. So what is the main thing? Sattika. Sattika means best. What is the best thing? Of Allah Kangshivi. Don't expect anything. You will automatically will get it. Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, he said, don't go inquiring here and there. Someone was really inquisitive, say, going to the office uh, person and say, how much money this landlord is having? He said, I'm not supposed to tell it. But everything that you see around here are all his. Oh, so much of land he's having, almost like a king. And he's also maintaining so many uh, people. They must be rich, no? And where he keeps his money? Why unnecessarily going on inquiring here and there? He won't get but rather you go and be a friend of that landlord. Landlord himself will say, you know, this is my thing. So if you go to God, you get everything. Why not? So we don't, the Swami Vivekananda said, puts it in a very nice way. He said, unselfishness is more pain, but we don't have the patience to practice it. I don't want anything, you know, if I tell that, maybe Thakur won't give anything. So at least, then eh, I little bit touch up. <laughs> Thakur will give everything because he, he sees our mind. So that is why, that is the another problem. So what I am telling, if that only he is listening, that is all right. But he can see my mind. If I say something and thinking something, that is the problem. You cannot hide anything from him. That's why you say, you know, but I may be weak. I may be tempted to these worldly names and forms. But you are my father. You know what is good for me. Give those things. And name